and God. <clears throat> Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm very happy to see you here. So today I'm going to visit County Clare. It's on the west side of the country, so I'm driving from one side of the country to the other side of the country and I'm going to see Ennis and then I'm gonna see Doolin. I hope I do pronounce these towns correctly. You're very welcome to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. I thought that I really want to see Dolin. Uh, it has some lovely, nice, uh, old-style colored houses that I've seen on Instagram. It seems to be a very inst Instagrammable uh, location, so I thought that I really want to see it, but I thought that on the way to Dolin I might see Ennis. Um, yeah, it's just somewhere a little bit further than Limerick, so I thought that why not, why shouldn't I go there on my way, because it's lovely, it's summertime in Ireland, or still spring, whatever you want to consider May to be, and uh, the days are really long, so I know that I'm gonna manage plenty of things today, so yeah, let's go together, let's explore a bit of the west part of the country. It's really comfortable because to drive from Dublin to Ennis is only two and a half hours, so it's actually very, very close, and I stopped by just to buy myself something to drink, get myself a latte, a coffee, and yeah, let's keep driving and let's keep enjoying this lovely nice trip. Guys, I arrived in Ennis, uh, it was a lovely drive, let me tell you something about the parking as well. Uh, do you see it says parking, pay and display, which means you have to pay for this parking and it says Monday to, Monday to Saturday uh, from 9.30 till 17.30. That means that you have to pay between Monday to Saturday between these hours. Once it's outside, outside those hours and days, you do not need to pay for parking. So you can just park your car for free and no one is gonna say anything. Um, I know that many of you know this, but just in case, I don't know, somebody doesn't know this, um, probably it's good if I tell you. So let's go and see Ennis, let's see how it looks like. It seems like there is a match today, a football match, I think. Unfortunately, I'm not really into football, so I don't know much about it. But yeah, let's go and have a look what it is. I've seen plenty of people in the city center, I mean in the, in the town center, and it was like so busy. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a match. Everyone is wearing green, so it might be Ireland playing. And um, yeah, I will probably just go and try to enjoy whatever it is here. Yeah. My favorite tourist information so yeah I really like that everything is explained here is showed here so I'm just trying to see what I can do here so the key attractions is the river Fergus which I think is the river right there you can see it but it's there so this seems to be very cool. Uh, also, that um, enjoying the town's flora and fauna. It's actually a very beautiful, like flora and fauna. I'll be honest. Plenty of uh, trees. So yeah, very nice. Uh, visit the local theater and community center. Uh, shopping. So just some shopping to do here, and also um, coffee shops. You know, I love coffee sh coffee shops, pubs, restaurants. So yeah. Um, this is pretty pretty nice to see what can be done right here and there is some explanation of what can be done and now yeah so now this is the whole Ireland this is County Clare where I currently am so yeah and this is County Clare so in County Clare this is Ennis this is where I am currently I'm also thinking about going to uh, Dolin as I said, it's like an Instagrammable location, so I might have to drive somehow this way to Dolin. So I'm just walking here and I'm just gonna go to the town center. Guys, <laughs> I can hear the noise from here. I just can imagine what an er energy is there, because I'm definitely almost sure that it's Ireland playing today. Uh, and I can hear <laughs> people screaming, being really happy and supporting. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Cool, let's try to, try to get in there and see if I can film something because I can imagine it should be extremely busy. And it seems to be pretty nice. 
lovely buildings, a lot of shopping, banks, looks lovely. Also, it is nice to see electric car charging points on even street car parks. Can be very handy, but it's only like a few spots actually for the electric cars. very nice very beautiful a pretty big town um, plenty of things in um, the town center it's Sunday today so I see a lot of places are closed mm, yeah unfortunately probably this is what happens in many towns but places do close on Sunday not all of them like some places are open but like loads of coffee shops are closed maybe they work just half a day maybe they just generally don't work I mean, in case you need to buy something, of course, you'll be able to do this, but like some places seem to be closed. But yeah, very lovely, very nice, lovely day. Um, I was expecting it to be sunny <laughs> and uh, it was sunny in Dublin, but like you can see it's very cloudy here in Ennis, but it's very, very warm. So yeah, this is enjoyable, you know, to, wear, to walk on a warm day. Cool, guys, I won't stay too long in Ennis because I want to go to Dolin um, and I hope I'm gonna manage but I should manage because the days are really long and then I need to get back to Dublin so from Dolin to Dublin is about three hours drive so yeah I am gonna do a lot of driving today So guys, actually, if you're looking for some good fragrances, I would suggest this company, Max Benjamin. Um, I actually bought one of them in... Uh, where did I buy it? Uh, in Avoca. You maybe know Avoca. It's very popular. And they got a blue one, I think. And it was smelling so good and for so long. And, like, it's really, really good quality. One of these uh, things is, like, 5 euro. This is how it looks like. You put it in your suitcase, in your wardrobe, somewhere, like wherever you want to put it, and it smells really well. Uh, I got three of them, it's like 15 euro. I know it's expensive, but I know they're really, really good. So guys, I finally found this Instagrammable place in Dolin. I already wanted to stop and ask someone how can I find this. But she looks lovely. So it looks like this famous place is a sweater shop. Nice. Then some crafts yeah lovely perfect so it looks like you can dine in them I think get some ice cream and enjoy the view wow lovely also on the street I get loads of parking as always tourist information where well, I think you can buy a different kind of tours, I think, to go to Iron Islands, Cliffs of Moher. Um, so guys, I'm walking here and I can see that the maximum fine is extremely accurate. 1,904 euro and 61 cents for not cleaning after your dog. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? And look at this beauty, so I'm going to be a Dolin viewpoint. My god, what a beauty, isn't it? Let me zoom in a little bit. So 
so guys i'm walking towards the dulin viewpoint i think is what it is called um so yeah dulin is a nice lovely small village it's very close to the cliffs of mohar so if you're going to the cliffs of mohar and you have a car might be nice to pop over just can see a few houses and probably a few airbnbs i don't know if it's cheaper than staying somewhere at the cliffs of mohar but you might give it a try you know when you look on airbnb you can try the um bnbs yes on near the cliffs and you can try the bnbs near or in Dulin, uh, they might be a bit more affordable. So yeah, cool. Uh, let me keep my walking. Yeah, really beautiful here. Oh my God, what was that? <laughs> I hate when people do this. Like I absolutely hate when they do signal. Oh, and you might think it is Ireland. People are supposed to be quiet and not quiet, but respectful and nice, but no very noisy sometimes <laughs> cool look at this green color wow. And I think from here you can go to the Aran Islands. I can see the inscription. So yeah, looks like from here you just go on a boat and you go to the Aran Islands, which is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I'm already going home because it's pretty late and I want to arrive home um, and drive as long as it's still bright outside So yeah, it was really lovely to be in Ennis and then go to Dolan today and see everything To be honest, I wouldn't say that if you are a tourist in Ireland, it's definitely a must 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 see It's mostly for those people who have, who have seen plenty of things already and they want to see something new But if you're on your way to Cliffs of Mohar, I would suggest going to Dolan and just having a quick look it's not much to do in there maybe just stop take a few photos uh, take an ice cream and that's it um, I'm if I was to be like a first-time tourist I wouldn't go to Ennis because it's a lovely place but it's not like the the ultimate place you have to go to um, so yeah it's mostly for those people who have seen plenty and would like to um, probably see what else is there in Ireland Cool, I hope you enjoyed this trip with me. I really hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I start to get bored on these trips. Maybe I'm getting on, diff on a different life stage, life level. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm slightly bored, but I hope it wasn't too bad for you. I hope it was something interesting and nice for you. Cool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram will be in the description to this video okay it would be nice to see you there because i post much more things in them and yeah let me know if there are any other places you would like me to visit and make a video about them because um yeah probably it's nice to see what else is there in the world cool thanks emil guys um have a lovely time thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your like and your support and i'll see you in the next one